course, in the previous video, we saw introduction to filters. In this video, we will be having a quick recap and then we will proceed further. We saw an example of water purifier which we use in our everyday life. This purifier removes the unwanted impurities present in the water and gives us the pure output. With this example, we can understand that the basic function of electric filter is to pass a specific band of frequencies and block frequencies outside this band. Many times, random noise gets generated in an electronic circuit due to the presence of components like inductor, diode, capacitor, resistor, etc. If this noise is left untreated, we will be getting such distorted output. So it is necessary for us to design the filter circuit to get a proper output. Filters are broadly classified into two categories, analog and digital. Analog filters are used to process analog signals and digital filters are used to process analog signals by using digital techniques. Analog filters are further classified into low pass filter, high pass filter, band pass filter and notch filter. This notch filter is also known as band project filter. Here in this video, we will be seeing designing of low pass filter and high pass filter. Depending on the type of elements used in the construction of filters, we have another classification here that is filters are classified into active type and passive type. Active elements like op-amps or transistors are used along with resistors and capacitor in case of active filters and passive elements like resistors, capacitors and inductors are used in case of passive filters. Again, we have one more classification here that is filters are classified into audio frequency type or radio frequency type. RC filters are commonly used for audio or low frequency operation whereas LC or crystal filters are employed at radio frequency or high frequencies. So here we will be designing active filter using op-amp along with resistors and capacitors. So it is important that we know the advantages of active filters over passive filters. So the first advantage here is gain and frequency adjustment flexibility. Since the op-amp is capable of providing a gain, the input signal is not attenuated as it is in passive filter. In addition, in active filter, it is easier to tune and adjust. The second one is no loading problem. Because of high input resistance and low output resistance of op-amp, the active filter will not cause loading of source or load. Third one is cost. So active filters are more economical than passive filters. This is because of the variety of cheaper op-amps available in the market and also the absence of inductors in the circuit. So moving on to the design of first order low pass Butterworth filter. So this is a circuit diagram of first order low pass Butterworth filter. Here we have IC741 which is an operational amplifier. The negative terminal is the inverting terminal and the positive terminal is the non-inverting terminal. Here you can see this is the input voltage which is applied to the non-inverting terminal and the inverting terminal is grounded. So this op-amp is said to be working in non-inverting mode. So if you want to determine the order of the filter by just looking at the circuit, look at the RC circuit. Here we have only one RC circuit. Therefore, this is first order filter. Here, resistors R1 and RF are used to determine the passband gain of the filter. We are using active element op-amp, so op-amp will give us some gain. So, therefore, R1 and RF are used to determine the gain of the filter. RC network uh, will form the filter on filtering circuit and RL here is the load. So let us have a look at the frequency response of this low pass filter. The ideal response of the filter is shown by dashed line which has zero loss in pass band and infinite loss in stop band. But practically it is not possible to achieve this condition so we use Butterworth filter which is a practical filter 
that approximates the ideal frequency response. So this robust filter has constant gain from 0 Hz to high cutoff frequency Fh Hz. So the frequencies within this range are called as pass by frequency. And once it reaches Fh, the gain is down by 3 dB. After Fh, that is as the frequency goes on increasing above Fh, the gain starts decreasing and frequencies in the range above Fh are come under the category of top band frequencies. So here there is a term which is important for Vivar that is roll of rate. What is roll of rate? The rate at which the gain of the filter starts changing in the top band region is known as roll of rate. See here the gain is decreasing in the stop band region in case of first order low pass filter and it is decreasing at the rate of 20 dB per decade. As it is decreasing we have written a minus sign that is roll of rate of this filter is minus 20 dB per decade. Okay, so these are some important formula which you need to note down. And these are extremely important uh, in exam point of view because you will be getting problems for designing of filters. So here our AF that is pass band gain of the filter is given by 1 plus RF upon R1. F is the frequency of the input signal and FH which is the high cutoff frequency of low pass filter. It is given by 1 upon 2 pi R into C. Now these are the designing steps of first order low pass Butterworth filter. Choose value of high cutoff frequency FH. This will be given to you in the question. Select value of C less than or equal to 1 microfarad. You can set the value of C any value which will be less than 1 microfarad. Then calculate the value of R by formula R is equals to 1 upon 2 pi FH into C. We have just simply rearranged the formula of high cutoff frequency. And then select the value of R1 and RF depending on the desired pass band gain using formula. AF is equal to 1 plus RF upon R1. Gain will be given and on the basis of gain you need to select the values of R1 and RF. And then finally after following all these steps you need to draw the circuit diagram. Okay, so this is an example given over here. So design a low pass filter at cutoff frequency of 1 kHz with pass band gain of 2. So cutoff frequency FH is equal to 1 kHz. You can set the value of C but it should be less than 1 microfarad. So here it is 0 0.01 microfarad. Then calculate R by using the formula. Pass band gain of 2 is given. Therefore R1 and RF must be equal. So here they have taken 10 kilo ohms. And by following all the procedures, you are getting these values. And then finally, they have drawn the circuit diagram. You have to draw a circuit diagram in exams or else marks will be detected. Okay, moving on to second order low pass filter. Second order low pass filter, here we have first order low pass filter plus an additional RC network here. So I already mentioned that if you want to find out the order of the filter, just look at the number of RC sockets. See here there are two RC sockets. So this is second order low pass Butterworth filter. The frequency response is exactly the same that it will be having a constant gain from 0 to high cutoff frequency FH and then after that the gain will be decreasing but note that here the roll of rate is minus 40 dB per decade because it is second order low pass filter. So the, the designing steps are exactly the same but only you need to keep in point that C2 and C3 values will be equal and R2 and RC values will be equal. That is the only change over here and where the designing steps are exactly the same as compared to first order low pass filter. Here we have demonstrated the first order low pass filter in the LD spice. We have used OPAMP LD1001 which has the similar characteristics as that of the OPAMP741. So to select this component, click on components, type its name and click on OK. 
you will get this component here we have applied uh, AC sine wave 4 volt input uh, to find out the frequency response click on simulate edit simulation CMD AC analysis type of sweep is decayed and enter the other parameters as required click on ok now click on run you will get this pane now right click addresses V out by pane ok here you will observe the frequency response of the first order low pass filter now to find out the gain put out the cursor here we will observe the gain as the in the left down corner uh, as y is equal to 5.95 db in the problem which we have solved the gain was 2 to convert it into the db use the formula 20 log 2 uh, which is equal to the 6 db now to find the cutoff frequency the formula is maximum gain minus 3 db corresponding frequency so here maximum gain is 5.95 so move the cursor on the gain 2.95 here you can see the frequency corresponding to 2.95 is 1.009 kilohertz and in the problem which we have solved the cutoff frequency was 1 kilohertz with this we have verified our filter design so next we have first order high pass butterworth filter. So high pass filters are often formed simply by interchanging the frequency determining resistors and capacitors. See the circuit is exactly similar to low pass filter. So only the change is in low pass filter we had resistor over here and capacitor over here. Here we, ha we are just interchanging them. Uh, look at the frequency response. So this filter has a stop band from frequencies 0 to low cutoff frequency FL and once the frequency becomes greater than FL all the frequencies are passed by this filter so those frequencies come under pass band frequencies and the roll of rate that is the rate at which the gain starts changing in the stop band is called as roll of rate so here the gain is increasing so it is 20 dB per decade in case of first order high pass butterworth filter so the design for the designing steps you need to keep in mind these formulas. The designing steps are exactly similar to that of low pass filter only we have FL that is low cutoff frequency in place of FH that is high cutoff frequency. Rest the designing steps are exactly similar. So if you are thorough with the first order filter designing you can design all these filters. And again second order high pass filter. We have another RC network or CR network, whatever you can say, and that's the only difference from the first order high pass filter. Again, here uh, from the frequency response, we can observe that the roll off rate is 40 dB per decade because it is second order filter. Okay, so in this video, we saw first order low pass filter, second order low pass filter, first order high pass filter, and second order high pass filter steps to design them and the demonstration of first order low pass filter in LT spy software. If you follow all the designing steps properly, you will be able to design filter of any given specification. If you have any queries, put them down in the comment section below. We will be happy solving your queries. So until then, bye. Thank you. Mm -hmm.